So we've seen how to uh, formulate the model in terms of uh, visits and how to define the solution of the model when we really focus on visits um, instead of purchases, which is more standard in macro. Now I want to show you how you can actually solve the model with this formulation in terms of visits. Uh, and we'll see, of course, that it's completely equivalent to the solution uh, concept and methodology that we had before when we were working with tightness and output, but it provides some um, additional insight due to the slightly different perspective. Um, so, we're going to solve the model. So, what does that entail? So, we have to find um, two key variables. which is aggregate number of visits v tightness x. And to do that, we'll have two uh, key relationships. We have two relations. Um, first, Households decide uh, visits optimally. So that means they maximize their utility, subject to budget constraint, given X. Um, so given the, take the tightness as given. And so we saw that this means that the number of visits V is just sigma X, the marginal propensity to spend by qx, the buying probability, time f of x, k, the inc aggregate income of the household, plus mu over p, and the amount of real wealth. This is something that we have, uh, that we had um, determined earlier. So this basically gives us a first relation between v, the number of visits, and x, uh, the tightness. Uh, and this is uh, basically an aggregate demand relationship because it comes from households deciding how much they want to spend. Then we have a second relationship, which says that you know once we have this total number of visits, well that determines actually the tightness of the market. Uh, You know that the aggregate tightness of your market is going to be your number of visits divided by um, the aggregate capacity. So basically, you know, tightness is always a uh, number of uh, buyers, which here is V is a visit divided by number of sellers. Uh, so we know that once we have this number of visits, uh, the tightness has to be V over K. And so basically, uh, we can, you know, kind of, uh, so the solution of the model is the tightness and number of visits that satisfies these two equations. And you can see you have two equations, two variables. Um, you should be able to figure out what is the solution if the system is well behaved, but we can have a graphical uh, representation of the solution. And so the best way to represent it is to have um, on this axis here, we'll have the visits. On this axis here, we'll have tightness. And so basically we have these two equations. So you know, the first one, we don't exactly know how the visits depend on tightness. So these are co a slightly complicated expressions. But you know, we, it's going to look say something like this. So this would be like V of X if we define this as V of X, the number of visits uh, that are optimum. And then, but then this second relation, you notice you can rewrite it as V is equal to X times K. So basically, the definition of tightness imposes that visits the linear function of 
the linear function of tightness, and so you can plot it something like this. And so this is just uh, this x times k, and so here you would have k. Um, okay, and so well, actually, I made I made this one start at zero. Uh, actually, this one won't start at zero because we know that when tightness is zero, this is zero. This is positive. Sigma zero is strictly positive, and q of zero is equal to one. So actually, here I made a, a mistake. Uh, if I exist, I should have plotted something like this. And so this is sigma zero, which is strictly positive, divided by q of zero, the buying probability at zero, which is one, and then mu over p. So this is sigma zero mu over p, which is strictly positive. So that we know actually already. Okay, and uh, and so here in a world like this, here we would have our solution. So here we would have the tightness x that solves the model, and here you would have the visits v uh, that solves the model. And then you know, then you can you can you could study uh, the model in different ways. Uh, what's really quite interesting, actually, so this would be uh, our graphical representation. Uh, what's quite interesting, actually, is that this uh, solution concept is totally equivalent to the one we had before, uh, and you can see that. So let me uh, just add another page. How can you see that? Well, so here we are. This solution is basically uh, it's a system of two equations where we have v is equal to sigma x divided by qx f of x k plus mu over p and then we have that x is equal to v over k. All right, but um, this you can rewrite it as it's totally equivalent to qx v is equal to sigma x f of x k plus mu over p and here we can say that v equal to x times k all right so now uh, notice a few things qx times v qx the buying probability v is the number of visits so this is output qx times v here so we can write this as y is equal to sigma x fxk plus mu over p. Okay, so here I have v. Uh, what I can do is I can multiply it here by qx, here by qx. qxv we said was y, and qxx we know that that's f of x, and that's f of xk. And here we recognize our standard solution concept. This is just saying that y is yd. Uh, well, <clears throat> This you recognize that this is y is y sigma x y s of x plus mu over p and this you recognize this is y is equal to y s of x uh, but this is exactly the uh, solution uh, you know the solution system that we had before output has to be given by the supply and output here is given by uh, the amount of spending by the by the households and this you know, you can reshuffle if you substitute y in here. You can reshuffle this and get that y is sigma x divided by 1 minus sigma x mu over p, and then y is y s of x. But this sigma x over 1 minus sigma x mu over p, we said that this was actually our aggregate demand curve. And so here you get the old, you know, well, you get what we had before. So y is given by the supply, and then tightness is such that y s of x is equal to y d of x. So this is our uh, 
this is our whole solution concept. Y is on the IS curve, always, and then tightness uh, equalizes S and um, AD. So you see that these two solution concepts, the one in visit and out, and tightness is exactly the same as the one in output and tightness. Um, so these are, you know, there are two ways to look at the model, which I think are, are kind of useful, but they are exactly, uh, exactly equivalent.